I was born in 1937. It was a very hard time because the war was on. Uh, we were very short of stuff. Uh, we had to look for food. Uh, there was no employment and the family were always very hard yeah, to get stuff. Yeah. I was born in Valletta, Malta, just across from Sicily. I was the oldest of the of nine children, and I was the one that I had to go and scrounge around. My mother used to send me to look up for food, and there was a place where we called the Victory Kitchen, where we had to queue up and collect some food to take to the family. Yeah. So, um... What other vivid memories did you have as a child? Uh, they weren't very good memories because as I say um, we were always terrified that something's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after that time, when after the war, you must have been quite young still, right? I was very young and I went to school um, at St. Albert the Great College yeah. and I reached a year which is equivalent to this school certificate. But my father took me out because they needed me to go to work to help out with the family. Yeah. Okay, so in that time, did you experience anything funny or crazy? Oh, there was things. There was things when we used to play with the other children. Yeah, and uh, go do hiding and playing. Yeah, and that we used to do jokes on each other. Yeah, we had fun, yeah. Yeah, um, have you seen any Abbott and Costello movies? Plenty of them. Which one's your favorite? Uh, it's a long time to remember the titles. Yeah, but they were all funny to me, yeah. yeah. Um, back then, I'm sure they had different sweets. So what was your favorite sweet or chocolate as a kid? As a kid? Uh, the gelato was my favorite. Yeah. Mm, okay. Um, and were you an inquisitive student at school, or not at all? Where I? So did you enjoy your um, primary school? I always enjoyed school. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, where did you live? Did you live on a farm or in a city? No, I started living in the city with my grandmother until such time until my father wanted me to go to live in this in the suburb um, until i went back to working here yeah so um did you have a pet as a child yes i had a cat as a child what yes what's its name uh, skippy skippy all right um so you're obviously now in Australia. When did you come here? I arrived here in 1964 with my new wife. Yeah. And why did you come? I came here because I worked for the British Navy and the uh, Prime Minister of Malta uh, wanted independence. So the British Navy had to move out. So I lost my job and so I migrated with my wife to Australia, yeah. Well, thank you for your time, Tony. We really appreciated it. Thank you very much. So in term one, I started with Tony, and I didn't know who he was. Then my buddy, Chris, helped me know Tony. Then we started to play games with each other. I banged my game, and we played Connect Four. And I kept on winning, and that drove our relationship. Then, in term two, we kept on going on Wednesday, and I liked it. I said to Tony, thanks for having me, and I liked him. He really became like my dad, and And I feel like he should be welcomed. So that's it. Cut. 
So Beverly, what year were you born in? 1930, November 1930. So what vivid memories do you have from your childhood? I did a lot of reading because I was an only child and I had to amuse myself so I did a lot of reading and I still do a lot of reading. What was your favourite book? Oh, a bit hard to remember that. <laughs> when you were young, what did you do to entertain yourself, like after school? Mainly reading and perhaps helping my mother and doing things with her. I had a dog. His name was Paddy. Stamp collecting. What was your favourite movie when you were a child? Oh, and Green Gables or something like that, probably. Did you go to the movies often? Probably in the holidays. Yeah. My mother took me. What advice would you give to your child self? to be themselves. Um, Have you noticed any changes in Australia? A lot of changes. Because we've got different, lots of people here. And when I was little, it was quite different. But um, we've all adopted new habits and things like that. And how was life back then in comparison to life now? Well, we didn't have a car, so it was a bit quiet. We had to go by train all the time. We weren't far from a train, and we could go by train. We used to go to have a day in town every school holidays. We'd go around the shops and think, my mother and I. What are some highlights of your life? Oh, going to high school, there were only two of us that were selected to go. That was one particular thing that I was pleased about. And um, school holidays, or holidays with my parents, we always went up the north coast. And I, although I was on my own, uh, it was very nice, just the same. Did you witness any history? Well, I suppose I did because life changed. We had the war on while I was little. Um, I used to belong to the Red Cross and we worked for different things to raise money. I helped my mother make camouflage nets. Um, for the war effort, things like that. Uh, the war played a part, quite a part in our lives, although it wasn't here. Did you do anything special when you were at school for the war? Oh, well, we had different um, talks and things about it. But as children, we weren't involved a great deal. What do you think is done differently from since when you were a kid and from kids in the 21st century? <laughs> I can tell you a lot. <laughs> um, it's a different population. Um, as you know, uh, we've got a lot of migration here and we've adopted a lot of the habits of other people, other races. And so that has come into it. Well, thank you for your time, Beverly. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Talia, and today I will be talking about Beverly. So, this whole Wooden Group program started in Term 1, and we met our buddy Beverly. She was really nice and she was really open, so when we asked her questions for our big project, she was fine about answering all of them. We played lots of games with her and we had fun every Wednesday. And 
This whole Witten Group project was really good because we got to learn more about the 1930s and the 1940s. I think that all of us got a lot out of it because the buddies taught us many stories from their childhood and we can see how different it was from then and from now. And so I think it was a really good experience. Oh God, you asked me a hard question that 96 years ago. Where, where were you born? At a place called Cumnock. C-U-M-N-O-C-K, out in the country. Oh. Uh, wait, where is it in Australia? Is it in New South Wales? Yes, out in the west. When were you born? 1923. Oh, 1923. Uh, did, you, did you get married? When? Been married twice. Oh. What kind of sweets did you eat back in the olden days? Well, we had plenty of chickens. We had our own pigs. We had a cow. We plenty. We grew our own vegetables. Um, do you think that your um life has changed a lot? Oh, of course. Changed? Changed a terrible lot. Well, there were just only a few cars because people couldn't afford them. Only farmers in the country. Oh. Only the farmers could afford a car. Oh. We had a horse and sulky. Oh, yeah, horse and sulky. Um, you wouldn't know what they were. Yeah, I know what they were. <laughs> the horse are like, there's this thing in there. And what, what, what rules were different to your school in now's rules? Like, were there different rules? The school? In your, in your yeah, school? the classes were a lot different. Like, what rules did They had mixed classes, but I was brought up in a country school where there was only about 25 pupils. So the teacher taught the whole school. Oh. So we used to have, say we were in second class, we used to learn what the fourth class is learnt. Oh, okay. So we were pretty well advanced. Oh. Wait, which school did you go to? Cumnock School, where I was born. Cumnock Public School. And then I moved to Parramatta. Oh. And, uh, no, I came to Riverston first and I was in a primary school, then I went to Parramatta and I went to a girls' domestic science, like a high school. Did you have a brother? Did you have a twin brother? Yes. Um, do you... I, I'm one of 13 children. Oh. My mother had 13 children. And did, did anything major happen to you when you were a kid? Did anything like... Yes, my brother chopped my finger through. It was given a little tommy hawk. You know what that is? Yeah. Like a little axe. Yeah. And one day he said to me, where will I chop? And I said, chop there. And he chopped through my finger. Do you still have the... Do you still have... Uh, my twin brother? No. no. No, I mean, do you still have the finger that he cut off? The chop right down there, you can see the mark right down my finger. Oh. I'll carry it to the grave. <laughs> uh, thank you for having us, Audrey. Oh, oh thank you for it's inviting me. <laughs> Hope it was all right. Yeah, it was. Uh, being with Audrey is like the most amazing thing because she's really creative, she has major stuff and it feels really happy to be with her. I mean, it's really exciting and honestly, I feel really good because she's one of the best buddies I've ever been with. And she is amazing. Thank you. I was born in the 9th of September, 1935.
Uh, I lived with my grandfather and grandmother for a few years uh, during the war and um, the Second World War that was and I uh, used to have to do a lot of the uh, work around the home and in those days we didn't have refrigerators we had ice chests and the Iceman used to come with a horse and cart down the street and we'd buy a block of ice from him and these blocks of ice were fairly heavy and our ice chest wasn't real big so I used to have to use a hammer and chisel and cut bits off the ice block so it would fit in the ice chest and these ice chests the ice used to go on the top of them and used to melt particularly in the summertime and used to run into a bucket underneath or a tray underneath the ice chest and you had to keep emptying that otherwise it would float all over your floor and um, then I uh, my grandfather built me a, a, a barrow out of a food box wooden box and uh, had two wheels on it and two shafts and I used to have to go sometimes down to the ice chest, down to the ice works. And uh, the reason for that was that um, uh, if it was really hot weather, you'd have to, the ice one would come once a day, but the ice block would melt in half a day. So I'd have to go down to the ice works with the barrow, get another block of ice, put a hessian, wet hessian bag over the top of it to know it be rate of uh, melting and uh, then I'd have to break it in and put it in the ice chest so that was one thing that we saw, I saw a big difference in as the years went by when we had the refrigerators similar to what you've got now but not quite the same there's a lot of other changes of course particularly with motor cars and things like that and yeah uh, i had a, a an old um chevrolet motor car when i was old enough to drive and uh we um went over to perth coming in caravan with that and also um, went to Queensland towing a caravan beyond because in those days you take your family for a holiday uh, to stay somewhere or travel with a caravan because that's about all you could afford to pay for for holidays you couldn't go for a cruise on ships and things like that like you did today <laughs> My name is Julia and today I'll be talking about how much going to the wooden home means to me. Um, I really like coming to the wooden home to see all the old people and helping them and interacting with them and, and asking them questions. It means a lot to me because when, when we don't come, the, the old people, they're, actually, they're very lonely and they have nothing to do and then they just sit there and eat and drink. And, but when we come, they actually, they're like really happy, they, they, they smile, they play games with all the kids. And I actually really like that. Thank you for listening. I like all music, all music. My grandfather had the brass band and my father played a trombone and my sisters played piano and I played violin. There we are. Everything was important to me. Doesn't matter what I did, I in school, at home, all important. My father was born at Golgong, that's the old place and live, parents of Liverpool, yeah. And I'm born in Liverpool. I had a, a little dog, Towser. Towser? Yes. What, what's the memorable moment that you ever had? A memorable moment? Yeah. Oh, there's such a many of them. I couldn't tell you everything. That, tell us yes. Well, 
But we had a lot of memories and we went through the war years. And uh, we had to fill in time while the war was on and make do with everything. And um, waited for the war to get over and then start living again. Yes. Well, I worked uh, in a blanket place where they made blankets for the soldiers. Uh, uh, military blankets. That's during the war. We had to do war work. And I uh, was old enough to go to work and uh, put in the time for five years. And then the war over and then had to start life again. Was that yeah. hard to do? Yes. After the war, well, I got married during the war and um, just settled down to married life. And um, time just went on and here I am. You know the Collingwood Hotel? Well, you can touch the roof of that from my place. Uh, I'm the, towards the river, George's River, but the Hollywood and the uh, highway, that's where I was, uh, through there. I was born in that street. I'm on the, there's a highway that's at the back of our place. Right. Yes, the Hume Highway from Sydney to Melbourne. There wasn't such a lot of cars, but then as the time went on and the war got over, they started bringing cars in from America and England. Yeah. And then, then the uh, Holden car was invented and everyone got a Holden. 1953, when the Holdens come out. Right. Yes. Did you have a Holden? Yes. Had uh, in my lifetime, I had uh, a utility, which was very good, and uh, two more sedans. Right. In the time, yes. The other thing with the, I was driving in Sydney with a car, and a, a policeman was on duty directing the traffic, and I thought he said to go around. I cut across him instead of get, I had to go around him, but I went across and I put on his feet. <laughs> and I thought, and I pulled up and I thought, oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> but anyway, I'm okay. Yeah. I, I had good parents. Oh, yes, yes. But what would, what yes. would happen if you got in trouble? What would happen if you got in trouble? They'd shoot me. <laughs> I had to keep out of trouble. No, I never got into trouble. No. A few times it come very close, but I didn't get into trouble. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Um. I, I kept out of jail. I didn't get put into jail. And I had a, a brother-in-law, he was a policeman, and he kept his eye on me. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I was okay, yeah. Okay, well thank you, thank you for having our time. Thank That's you. all right. Thank you. Enid has inspired me to get my, since, since she was learning the violin and playing the violin, and so her, her whole family played an instrument, she has inspired me to learn to play the guitar. When I go to Kilmington Performing Arts, that was what, that's what I'm going to learn. But also, when I went over there, every single day when you came up to Widden, I went straight over to her. We, we talked, we played games. I, I, she even offered me some lamingtons. It was tasty as, I'm just going to tell you. Um, straight also, um, um, I, we pl I teached her how to play chess a little bit, I think so. But also, I helped clean up the um, tea and coffee and stuff over to the thing. It's been a great time, trust me, it's awesome. I born in Fiji, 1935. I went to Mrs. School. I was very sickly girl, but I got to class eight that time. Mm -hmm. I have uh, three, two sisters and one brother. Um, uh, during uh, World War II, when Hitler arrived, mm -hmm. what were your emotions that time? 
Mm. How did you feel? I was frightened. <laughs> mm. These are all the soldiers there, they had gun and everything. I was frightened. I was a born, I go to school, write a lot of prayer. My teacher like us and everything. I remember my sisters and brothers were playing, my cousins and everything, my school friends. What do you like to do in your spare time? Spare time, I, I like cooking. And when I was young, I played the food, uh, basketball, and I like swimming and everything. Uh, I play basketball and uh, uh, what's it? Uh, I play tennis, but not uh, much. Huh? Mm. In basketball. No, basketball. Yeah. Uh, did you just have dogs? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> what did you like to cook? What do you like to cook? I cook Indian food, some European food, and uh, Fijian. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is Chinese. Okay. I like Japanese and fried rice like that. Do you read any books? Hmm? Do you read any books? I read the books. Uh -huh. Thank you for talking to us. Uh, we really enjoyed it and um, a good job. Yeah, I tried to. Uh -huh. I like them. Mm -hmm. I like to. Mm -hmm. I've really enjoyed my moment with Suda. She's been a. I've seen her. She's actually a really good artist. I've seen her doing some art she has been doing. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. And also, she loves board games. Whenever we play board games, and then we. Whenever we play board games and we finish, she always li wants to ask if we can play another go board game. So we really enjoy it. And also, um, she likes basketball, which I like too. So we're like, yeah, we like the same favorite sports. And also in Fiji, she also liked to play, uh, she also had basketball lessons and matches like once a week. Which is cool. I also have basketball lessons. Uh, what was the date of when you were born? 1949. 15th okay. of the first, 49. How did you feel in the 1940s? Was it a good or bad time back then? So, did you feel very comfortable? No, I didn't. Okay, and why didn't you feel comfortable? Because the war was all around me. And I was only a little baby. And did you have any types of relatives in any war? My father and grandfather were in the war. Okay. And how was, was school different to now? So like your teachers and your classes and everything? Yes. What was different? The teachers were, were skinnier. <laughs> and how much cheaper was stuff back then? So um, was it cheaper than now and all that stuff? Yes, it was cheaper. What would a, um, I don't know, a car be worth, do you know? A car. A lot cheaper than it was these days. And what was Australia like back then? Everything was cheap back then. Was there any different people? People different? Yes, there was different people. How, did, how were the people different to now? Uh, they weren't as angry as they are now. What was your favourite food and movie in the 1940s? That's a long time away. Do you know what your favourite food is now and movie? 
Spaghetti. And what's your favorite movie? Gone with the Wind. And what were some of the most popular movie, like cartoons and TV shows that you used to watch or will see around? Oh, there was uh, Scooby Doo. Um, oh, and could you tell us a, a story about your bowling? Well, I used to bowl five times a week. And was there any prizes that you won for a competition? Trophies. A lot, of, a lot of trophies in a diamond ring. Well, thank you for your time, Robert. And, um, yeah, thank you. So, from the last past weeks, we've been working from Widden on Wednesdays. Um, all of us have enjoyed coming with our buddies and talking to our buddies, playing games and everything. And well even um, doing questions with our buddy now and all stuff like playing games too and well hope hoping that other kids could try this too because it's very fun getting to know other people and just getting to know like past history because it's very fun with my buddy Robert he's been teaching my group and me a lot of things from like um, the 1940s and we've been talking about all sports cricket and in bowling how he's won all rings and trophies how he's won in a competition he was versing this hard person and he won this like um, ring for someone I can't remember and yeah, it was very fun to hear stories from Robert I was born in Newcastle in 1925 did you attend when you were young? Um, Birch Grove and in Tamworth. I went to Tamworth Public School. And what high school did you go to? William Street. It's, it's not there anymore. It's the Fourth Street, then I went to Fourth Street at last. Mm. What was your favourite subject in school when you were little? History. History. And you still like it? Mm -hmm. this day. Yep, very fond of history. Mm. So what makes history so like, interesting to you? Well, I really can't tell you. It's just that I, I love to sort of um, think about the old days and all the kings and queens and how it all changed, how everything changed from, the, from them being in charge now. They sort of, you know, the parliament's in charge instead. Hmm. The people more or less have become more in, in you know, with them, with them in charge of themselves instead of the being in charge of the royalty. So, do you have any parents that fought in war? And if so... Yes, my father. My father in the First World War. First World War. Mm. And do you still have his medals? No. No. I don't know where they are. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, what was it like growing up in your neighbourhood? Very nice. Very good. It was very quiet and very peaceful, you know. Mm. Yeah. What have you experienced the changes throughout the years? And if so, what kind of changes have you seen? Oh, I've seen lots of changes, but I can't really explain. Um, oh, different outlooks, you know. Everyone thinks differently now to what they did when I was young, you know. The, the younger people are more in the, in the head, more, uh, you know, experienced. You know, they, they have more experience to talk about them than when I was young. Mm. Have you seen the population grow up? Oh yes, I have, very much so. Especially the European people when they came over, you know, when they had that special thing from all European and English coming over. Mm. Yeah. What was your favourite snacks in your childhood? A snack? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, Anzac biscuits. <laughs> and how often would you have the snack? Oh, probably every day I suppose. Mm -hmm. the, the snacks. Mm. And they still exist? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, thank you for your time. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Um, my experience of coming to the Widden home um, is uh, very great. Um, first time meeting my buddy, um, I was a bit, um, you know, not very talkative. Um, but as time passed, um, we got to know each other very much.
yeah, other kids should do it um, to learn m more about um, uh, old people um, because, like, they don't really, um, you know, like, they only have their grandma and grandpa and they should know other people, uh, pe other people's lives and... When were you born? 25th January 1938. Favorite moments? Moments? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dancing, swimming. <laughs> I had a good mother and father. I used to go swimming a lot. It was good. Why do you like swimming so much? I just love it. I love the water and I love to swim. Do you still know swimming? Yeah. I always swim. Do you still swim? Mm hmm. Still swim. At home, I've got a swimming pool in our yard. <laughs> Mother's got one in her yard. <laughs> and I've got silver cups at home for swimming when I was younger. Wow. Yeah. Was any of your relatives in World War II? Yes, my father. Did you miss him? He come, yeah, we come home safe and sound. Yeah, okay. we were lucky. What school did you go to? Bankstown, private, Bankstown Public. And what high school? I went to the Bankstown High School too. Oh, okay. Did you work? Yeah, I worked at Burns Aluminium Place, making teapots and saucepans and... Did you like your job? Yeah, I did. I loved my job. Why? I don't know. It was just something I liked. Okay. Yeah. What were some of your favourite experiences throughout your life? Getting married to my husband. <laughs> yeah, I got married to a lovely man and I've got three lovely children. Sharon, Scott and Grant. One girl and two boys. Who were you married to? Colin Olsen. What did you do in your spare time? I used to sew my children's clothes. <laughs> what were some of the favourite things you loved to do after you, have, after you had your children? Always being with them, taking them out and watching them play. What things would you mostly cook for your children? Food. I cooked what I used to say to them, what would you like for dinner tonight? And they'd say chips and some vegetables and I cooked them chips and vegetables. <laughs> but not every night though. I change, I make them change it around. I say, now you had that last night, you've got to have something else. <laughs> what were some hobbies you did? Hobby? Yeah. Swimming okay. and shopping. <laughs> That, that's about all, I think. <laughs> what do you like about this nursing home? I like it. It's friendly, people are friendly. The food's good. Yeah, so. What do you enjoy in life? Swimming. <laughs> that's all I enjoy, is swimming. <laughs> I think that this program is really good and like really like great because it brings together the com the community and the school so then kids could learn more about like life and and like they could learn how to adjust to like older ki older people and i think that this experience was really great for me and like i had a really good time with isabel and she was really nice and she was really like, I remember saying, like, as you get older, you get cheekier. And with Isabel, that's the truth. She's really cheeky, but, but in the, like, the good way and funny way. And this experience, like, brought a lot of people, like, together. And, like, the new bond that we can make. Or, and that a lot of people can learn how to adjust to different ages. And this 
and I think we should have more experiences like this for the future classes and schools and uh, and I think Wirin did a great job 